What's going on, guys? I'm going to do um, some cycle work on the Dow S&P, and then we'll get into, I'll do another video on Forex update into the start this week, and then also a crypto update. So I'll just stick to the Dow S&P for this video. And I want to just look from a timing perspective. I think we're really setting up for another risk-off move this week. And here's why. So when we do a top down, if we start with the Dow, this is only four months in from this most recent uh, um, sell-off correction, what you want to call it. But you can see that the monthly stochastic cycle actually crossed here with the highs in October. And so this is only a this is the fourth unit of time on this level that we've corrected. But what you can see is that this the strength of this move down in this bar, we've retraced about halfway. And the cycle is only halfway done. So there's probability that we continue lower into February and March is kind of the, the path that, the, that this current cycle is on longer term. So whether that's a move all the way back to the bands here, which would be really deep, down at like 19,000. Um, I'm not saying that's our call. I'm just saying that's that's possible. We could have an intraday new low or low, and then still hold this low and close above there. There's, I mean, there's lots of scenarios that can play out. That's not really what we're trying to figure out. We just kind of want to see where we are in time versus price because the actual the time component matters more. So if if you can't if you break a level and you bounce and you can't exceed what we call the TMS or the trend with that cycle then the probability is actually we go back the other way so that's the probability is still high that we test the lows here and so that we just talked about the monthly here's the weekly now we've been in this pattern of lower highs so just coming off a lower low the probability of a bounce all the way back to a new higher high which would be above 26,000 is very low and so we're actually four weeks off the low, so mid-cycle. And then here's your stoke cycle rising, which is setting up the turn, could easily turn back down into this week and into next. And being back here at the bands is a very probabilistic spot that the market would make a lower high. And then we see it on the daily also. So I have our pie line up here. In front of 25,000, you've got 200 on the daily, which every trader is going to have. And so we've been ribboning on this cycle at the top here, which sometimes the stochastic will do. But now that the weekly is catching up, you're going to have both of those cycles start to converge. So we have a really high chance that this week is a rollover week. You can also notice what we call a BCI here is kind of right in the middle of this move. And then I've got it marked on S&Ps that were eight days off the low, or sorry, two cycle counts off the low. So this has done a pretty good job. Um, the 8.6 count is a derivative of a pi. And you can see we've got highs here, highs here, double top, 8.6 cycle count away from each other, cycled into a low bounced to another 8.6 count into this low, rallied 8.6 days, another low, another rally, and then this has been two cycles on the downside into this low. And now we've had two cycle count of 8.6 into the upside. So this is what we have going on, and there's a high probability we get a lower high here very soon. So we're actually leaning short S&Ps now. We've been pretty patient not going home core short for this rally, playing the Dow on the long side, and then now I'm starting to set up core short on uh, S&Ps again. So we'll see what uh, this week brings, and then volatility is kind of echoing the same thing. I don't I probably should do some more work as far as 8.6 count. If we look at the weekly on the VIX, so this is VIX futures. So I have that same one, two, three, four count with the weekly cycle getting pretty low. And then the daily just looks pr just looks really ripe to just rip. I mean, it's been a slow, steady, uh, every lower high, we call this a swing line. 
And as soon as the swing line starts to go out, it gets taken out on the upside, we're going to be back long VIX futures in a more aggressive way. But you've got, and we were already at very low levels, considering we just came off of, you know, 27. So we were booking gains on the VIX up there, around 27. All right, we had nice sales up in there. Let me see if I can show it on the four hour. So 26.6, 25.5, 25.5 again, 25.10 again. And then there was, these were some nibbles where you had to be coming out pretty hastily. So I haven't bought, I haven't even tried the long on the VIX um, after we couldn't hold pie. So as soon as we start stop making lower highs on the VIX, I think that'll be another sign. Um, and then we'll see if the machines back off the bid as far as S&Ps go. All right, guys, hope that helps. Uh, it should be an interesting week. Um, stay tuned. I'll come back with a couple other videos on Forex and crypto.